Hey, what's up guys? My name is Royce and today we're looking at how to or even if you can plug up your hard drives using an older iPad or iPad Pro if you have the new iPad OS. And the reason for this video is because I did one not too long ago actually showing how the new hard drive support on the newer iPad Pro with the USB-C port works and works pretty well. If you haven't, you can, you know, you already, you already know. Go check it. Go check it. But since then, a lot of you have been asking, will this work? on an older iPad or iPad Pro with the good old fashioned lightning connector. So I got the 2017 iPad Pro here and I'm just gonna be upfront with y'all. Um, I got some bad news, all right? Hooking up hard drives, like actual portable hard drives, ones that look like this, not thumb drives or anything like that, actual portable hard drives that you would edit on, do, you know, work on your documents, whatever. I have not been able to get this to work. I've heard some people say that it's worked for them, others that it haven't worked, but the only thing that I've been able to get to work is, you know, a SD card reader or anything like that. But as far as these guys here, the coveted portable drives, it just requires too much power that the lightning connector just, it just can't keep up. But it's not all lost cause. I'll at least still show you that the SD card still works. So let's do that. Oh, and also I want to point out too that Everything about to apply here also works with the iPhone running iOS 13. So this is a 10s Max, but the same rule should apply, hopefully. All right, so to test the SD card reader, I have just your regular lightning to USB camera connector. All right, so we're gonna plug this into the side here. And I got my SD card reader here. This is actually USB-C SD card reader, but I have a USB-C to USB-A adapter here. So now we're gonna plug this in and it should pop up right away. Yep, that's the card and can't read anything, obviously, of course, because this is all black magic raw files, but I at least just wanted to show you guys that this can work and just with the regular lightning to USB A camera connection kit. Likewise, on my iPhone Tennis Max, we're gonna plug this crazy nonsense up here. See this? Um, and it should pop up. Yep, there we go and we see all the files. So yeah, so this will work on the iPhone or the older iPad Pros or just iPads with lightning connectors as well. And like I said, we can't read the files, but there you go. And then, you know, hopefully you guys got a slightly shorter SD card or thumb drive set up than this because imagine just copying your files while you're just holding it like this. And I also have here an iPhone 6S. So let's test to see if this will work on older iPhones as well, let's pull this up. Again, get our unloading position. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be coming up for the 6S. So I wonder if the 6S just might require a little bit more power maybe. Uh, let's unplug and try again. Ah, there we go, okay. It showed up this time. So you can also read your SD card all the way down to a 6S, which is the lowest iPhone that is getting the new iOS 13 update. So that's nice. I know. This was the goal, right? So who knows, maybe it'll work this time. I'm gonna try and plug up my G drive into this iPad here. And for this, what we're going to need is the lightning to USB three camera connection. And you can see here, it's a lot fatter than just the regular USB camera connection cable here or adapter, I should say. And the reason for that is this allows you to simultaneously charge your iPad or iPhone while you're plugging up to USB right here. And this is gonna be needed because for these hard drives, as soon as we plug up, the warning is gonna say the drive requires too much power. And I've heard some reports from people saying it works when you use this, um, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get it to work, but let's see, uh, maybe a third time's the charm, even though this is like the seventh time, but we'll see. So we're gonna plug this up here to the iPad, plug in the lightning cable, kind of far away from the wall, so you know it's gonna be a little tight. All right, so we got that plugged up. And then I'm going to grab my USB-C adapter, plug that in here. Now, let's see if this works. We're gonna plug this up. Plug this up here, you see, like that. And what do we got? So right away, I hear the drive buzzing. It's trying to power on. So we're not seeing anything on the iPad, but if you see the drive here, it's trying to power on and it's making kind of this like ticking beep sound. I'll put it up to the mic so you can hear. So yeah, so it sounds like the drive is trying to power on, it's trying to get going, but the iPad, even with, unfortunately, even with this adapter here, with the with the extra power, it's still not strong enough to read it. So 
Yep, I know, that sucks. Let's try an older USB hard drive that doesn't need the adapter and let's see how that works. So here is an older Western digital drive that is USB-A. So let's just plug this up, see what we got. Okay. Oh, no. Turned on for a second and then shut off. So again, that's saying it's trying to draw too much power and I can even show you here too. So see, it powers on. You feel it vibrating, you feel it going, you feel it humming, and then blinks, yep, and then shuts off just like that. So yeah, unfortunately it's looking like the full portable hard drive support will only work with the USB-C iPad Pro model, the 2018 model, and I'm assuming whatever model's coming out either this year or whenever they decide to release it. And if you have an iPad with a lightning connector or your iPhone with a lightning connector, it's looking like that won't be the case. Um, it's just too much power is required. And even when you're throwing in additional power, it seems to just be too much for the lightning connector. At least you can still use your SD card readers, your thumb drives, and having that integrated into the files app in iPad OS and iOS 13. So we at least have that to look forward to. And for those who say they actually got this set up to work, please let me know how you did it. What hard drives did you use? What's your power setup? What's it, what's it all looking like, all right? Because I would definitely would love to get this to work. And I feel really bad that I couldn't because I wanted to show y'all and be like, hey, exciting news, even for the older iPads, we did it. But I can't do that now. But hey, at least now we know. So come fall when iOS 13, the new iPad OS comes out, we know what's up. You guys will be ready to handle it accordingly. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram, at Roro Beckley, my personal, or at Rockier Pro, which is my professional. And if there's any other questions you guys have that I might not have answered or missed in this video, please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, again, my name's Royce. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, just, just I'm sorry.